I can't be tamed. Out the picture, I can't be framed. You died in me, so I can't. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's the boy, it's the kid, it's the Eddie. And today, I'm here to show you guys how to fix your R2 and L2. Before we get started, I'm going to do a before and after of showing my R2 and L2 doesn't work. I can't shoot. If I get in my car, I will not be able to do a burnout. I cannot do a burnout. Just to show that I'm like truly shooting with R2 and L2. Here's my controls. And we will not be doing anything in GTA 5 online. Alright, and we're back. This is post fix to show that R2 really does work. I can get in my car and I also be able to do a burnout now. The show I didn't change on any controls or anything. I'll go back into my settings. Standard standard. Now let's get right into the fix. Alright, before we start fixing the controller, let's talk about what's wrong with the controller. These little silicon pieces, they get a little slit in it, as you can see. And that little slit prevents the R2 from going down all the way, and that's why you can't shoot. And before you say, oh, it's not my controller, GTA makes it to where your R2 has to go down all the way, and that little slit prevents that from happening, so then you can't shoot. There's this little line right here, and that little line is what like creates the slit, and then it just slides right down in the slit, and it's not getting all the way pressed down. Now we're ready to take it apart, but... Before we take it apart, you should be warned that once you take a controller apart, it may not like line up perfectly again. But honestly, I like never even notice. I don't just stare at my controller when I'm playing, so like it never like even bothers me at all. All right, now we're ready to start taking the controller apart. And make sure when you take it apart, make sure it's turned off. I don't know if that's common sense or not, but make sure it's turned off. And first thing you wanna do is take out these four screws that holds the controller together. Once you have those out, just break the controller in half. Well, don't break it, but split it in half. You have to use some force, but just be careful with it. Now that it's apart, you see this little ribbon in here? You can unplug that. So now you have two separate parts. Take out your battery. Once you have the battery unplugged, you can take that out. And if you're taking it apart, one of your R2 or L2 comes out because it gets stuck, that's perfectly fine. It's coming out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But now your controller should look like this. To take off the R2 and L2, all you do is just like push it up and it'll pop right out. But be careful of older gens because there's little springs in here for the L2 and R2 and you wanna make sure you don't lose those. Once you have the L2 and R2 out, you'll be at this point, you just have to pop out the L1 and R1. Just pull it like straight out and they'll pop right out. And then you see the little silicone pieces that I showed you earlier. And you can see the L1 still has a split in it, but the R2 I already replaced. But once you're at this point, you wanna look at these silicone pieces and you wanna see which one's in your controller. I will have links to buy these in the description. And this I'll consider new gen, which I think it is new gen, but if it's not new gen, this will be called new gen. And this will be considered old gen. Now for this part, I don't exactly recommend, but if you're like, now I gotta wait a week or whatever for this piece to ship, if you wanted to, I would not recommend it in like any way, shape or form, is if you have like nail polish, maybe Gorilla Glue, you could fill in this little circle and the little dash, but I would not recommend it as it's a very cheap fix. It's only $5, 530 with tax. It's a cheap fix, and I don't think it's really worth risking your whole controller for it when you can just buy the $5 piece. But if you're desperate and you want to try to fill it in with this, with nail polish or glue glue or something, you could very well try it, but I don't know if it would mess up your controller or not. I did try it, and it was working, but I only tried it for five minutes, so I don't know if it would like 
work for a month or a week or like just a couple minutes but I, I won't recommend it honestly but like I said earlier is you're gonna have these silicone pieces in your controller it could be the same as these or it could be the older generation and all you want to do is order those they get shipped off Amazon so 100% safe it's only five dollars I would not try the nail polish method because I don't think it's worth risking your controller for five dollars and to wait a week at most maybe even shorter and now to like actually switching them once yours come in the mail all you gotta do is pull it out from the bottom like that pull it out be careful not to pull out the little piece under it and then put your new ones in which these two I'm able to get to work for me also make sure you don't get anything in your controller while it's apart and then to put it back together just slide it in there slide one in slide the second in it only goes in one way so it should be fairly simple all right now that you got those changed the l1 and the r1 they're just gonna just snap right in just push them down make sure you put them on on the right sides and then for the triggers you want to make sure that you put them under the springs like so so the springs under it I can see the spring right there make sure it's under it same thing on the other side make sure that it's under the spring and if you have an older gen the springs come out with it you just put in the little grooves with it and it'll slide right in all right now you put the battery in the battery will only go in one way just line it up with the groove and it'll slide right on in all right now all you gotta do is put the shell back together and this little blue, blue ribbon right here, that should go on the outside, at least my one on the outside. If you put this in backwards, then your LED's not gonna work. I right, know that's in, all we gotta do is snap it back together. All right, now that the ribbon's in, you just wanna put your shell back together. I usually start from the top, L2, R2. You wanna push it over that little like thing in the way. Make sure everything clipped back together. And then put the screws back in and you're done. Once you put your screws in, you're done. But before you put your screws in, make sure you feel every, all your buttons, make sure they feel good. Mine feel perfect. Make sure to like the video. It helps the channel out a ton. Help people get fixes. This is the only fix on YouTube, I promise. You're not finding another video before this. Make sure to subscribe. GTA content coming very, very soon. Hit the bell so you get notified when it drops. That's everything. Make sure to read the description very carefully. Thank you guys. The Eddie out.